Seven. Uh, I also got a review of Ark, the animated series. We got a lot of DC ass for you, mostly James Gunn. And uh, more Marvel spoilers and leaks and rumors. And of course, we can't finish without your celebrity ass. So get ready for that shit. It's all coming up for you tonight. But we did get uh, some comments tonight. And, um, and one of our videos, two of our videos went viral. But only one of them had a lot of comments. Uh, so let's get to it on that shit. Here we go. Here are my social medias. Twitter is at Cinnaman665. And uh, Instagram is at the underground broadcast with underscores between the words. And a TikTok, which I'm not even fucking bothering with it anymore because they censor me all the time and shit. It's at the underground broadcast. So fuck TikTok. Don't even go there. Don't even subscribe to that ass. Little motherfuckers, they mute my, my, my videos all the time and shit. So uh, we're not even paying attention to that shit, just so you know. Uh, but whatever you do, send me on your social medias. I will post here. Just like Super Saiyan Joku sent me this earlier. Uh, he said, they say April showers brings May marijuana flowers, but this nugget hasn't destroyed yet, defrosted yet. Oh, hey, you know Joku. It's called snow cap and that's no cap. No lie, when I'm trying to stay high, I save just for Friday night show at the Underground Broadcast. Cheers, Mother Flowers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag THC. Hashtag Mary Jane. Hashtag Chronic. And hashtag smoke weed every day. Uh, Joku, don't smoke that shit at all. I'm stopping you right now. When you guys see frosted weed like that, that's mold, motherfucker. Unless you bought that from the store. <sighs> if you bought that from somebody off the street, don't smoke it. That's mold. I had the unpleasantness of smoking something that was frosted, not understanding that it was mold, and I had heartburn for days, and my lungs hurt when I breathed, and I didn't understand why. And uh, it was it's the weed. Uh, so uh, be careful. If you bought that at the store, then it's fine. But if you fucking bought that from the fucking brown person next door to you, throw it away. It's just really old moldy weed and you do not want to be smoking mold. Trust me, I've done it and it's not any good. 25 bucks for that one nugget. Damn. Yeah, me too. I keep getting ripped off from the brown people here in my neighborhood. I'm trying to find a new motherfucker and shit. I don't know what, what's wrong with these browns. Why the motherfucker don't want to hook another motherfucker up? You know, it's like you just want to screw another brown person, motherfucker. You're like, we're all the white drug dealers, the honest, white, hardworking drug dealers. They're not even here anymore. Got these con artists out there trying to rip you off and shit in the neighborhood. All the motherfucker just wants quad quantity over quality because times are hard here in Joe Biden's America. We got to make more for, run make a more for our dollar and shit, you know? I want I want whatever happened to the dollar menus at the fast food restaurants, they're all gone. Everything's 2 bucks, 4 bucks, 5 bucks. Fucking a uh, McDonald's combo is almost $20 in some states. It's fucking ridiculous. Fuck you, Joe Biden, and your piece of shit economy. Son of a bitch. We need to get that son of a bitch out. A few more months and you're out of here, old man. You're fucking up. Cheers, Joku. Thank you for sending me this ass. As long as it's legit. As long as it's legit, Joku. We don't want you getting sick on us and shit. Thank you for sending me that. Uh, Gomer Kyle was not here right now. Sorry about that. I dropped my lighter. Uh, Gomer Kyle sent me this ass. Oh, yeah. And it's Gomer. Wearing a, a Cody Rhodes, let me rewind that. Wearing a Cody Rhodes, claim your kingdom. A Cody Rhodes, the new nightmare and shit, the American nightmare. That's a pretty cool, dope uh sweatshirt. I, it looks like it's raised, like kind of fuzzy and shit. It looks warm. Of course, this motherfucker lives up north, so I quit. You know, I have winter clothes that I use like once one week out of the whole year and shit. You know, because it's hot over here where I'm at and shit. And we only get like one or two weeks of winter, which is fine with me because I hate fucking winter. I hate being cold and shit. Uh, I hate it when it's hot too, but you know, I'd rather be hot than cold. So I'm going to say, I don't want to be freezing my balls off. You can't even get a boner like that. 
Yeah, anyways, cheers, Gomer. Thank you for sending me this shit. He also sent me a couple more pictures. I'm about to show you all motherfuckers right here. But he sent me some pictures of his pop collection and shit. Here's a few of them. We got motherfucking uh, Peter Venkman and Sergeant Slaughter. That's badass. Winston and Os Oscar. The Oscar looks fucking badass, bro. Lenny uh, from Mortarhead. Cody Rhodes. He's got Elvis Presley. Rob Zombie. Uh, Ellis, what? Rick? I don't know who that guy is in the middle. Oh, it's Elvis. It's Elvis Jailhouse Rock. That's what it is. Um, and Dude Love. Oh, that one's fucking sick. The Dude Love is badass. Uh, then, uh, Pekka. Ronnie, I don't know where that's from. Ash from Evil Dead and Dusty Rhodes. Who's that one in the corner? I don't know. I don't even remember. I don't even recognize that symbol. Pekka, Ronnie. I don't know who the fuck that is. This is a cool pop. He's got definitely got more pops than me. And actually, I am stupid because I opened all my pops. Uh, he also got a Rocky Balboa and a Batman. And then he got this bat badass Batman one with a comic book inside of it. Hey, Gomer. I had to show off. Because I actually have that actual fucking comic book. That's a, a Todd McFarlane. A uh, comic book that he drew um, uh, uh, for DC when when he when he I think he, did he work for DC or Marvel first I think he worked at Marvel and then he went to D I don't remember I, he might have been at DC first before he went to Marvel uh, or vice versa I don't really remember but anyways I just wanted to show off real quick see I have the exact same Batman comic book uh, by Todd McFarlane and then I have when he when they went and started Image. And he did the exact same cover from the Batman with Spawn. It's the exact same one. That's so badass. But I also have the Amazing Spider-Man with Venom that he also did the cover. And then when he did the Spawn, he did the same cover. Ah, fucking. Uh, oh, Gomer's here. Cheers, Gomer. <laughs> let me hit. Let me hit your intro for you, Gomer. I didn't see you there, man. Oh shit, I forgot the new keyboard. I gotta press a second button for this. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pie, I'm gonna give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Yeah, so I just wanted to show off, Gomer, that I also have that fucking. I actually have that comic book that you showed and shit. Uh, right there. Oh, fuck. I'm pressing all these buttons and opening up all these windows. Uh, let me just... There we go. Uh, but yeah. Show you that. And then, uh, another thing that Gomer showed here. Uh, he showed a, another one right here. Oh, Donald Trump and Richard Simmons. Oh, yeah. You know, the motherfucker, he just needed to put Polly Shore there. Do you have a Polly Shore fucking, uh, uh, pop? <laughs> I open all the mines. I have a Raiden... Venom Carnage. I have the Fiend, which I kind of regret opening because I bet you that one's worth a lot of money now. I fucked up. I have uh the the Super Scroll with the four powers of the Fantastic Four. I have Mysterio. I have Korg playing a video game like from Thor, and I have uh Nega Duck from Darkwing Duck, and then I have the Fortnite Skeleton, uh, and I have the Xenomorph Alien, uh. And then the Dragon Ball ones you gave me, Joku. Those are all the pops I have. But the Dragon Balls, I didn't open them. I did open all the other ones, though. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. That's just the way it is. Uh, but I don't know. Trump ones, fucking badass. And the Richard Simmer ones. The Richard Simmer ones, fucking cool and shit. Uh, he also sent me a picture of his 2024 Trump hat. That's fucking badass. That's like real leather right there. A little leather patch on there. Truck 2024. Everybody around here is carrying that shit. I mean, not not specifically this, but everybody's got flags and everybody like everybody. Brown people everywhere. They, they're going to vote. I mean, here in my neighborhood. I mean, you know, I live in the hood. They're, I'm the lightest skinned person in my neighborhood. I'll just put it like that. And everybody in my neighborhood is voting for this asshole. And everybody's tired of being poor. Everybody's tired of fucking gas, eggs and cheese, and everything costing too much. We don't even have enough money to buy enough drugs and shit. Nobody's getting raises. And people are getting fired left and right. Fuck you, Joe Biden. Son of a bitch. Four years, you ruined the country more than Obama, more than Bush, more than Clinton, more than anyone's ever in the history of the United States of America. You idiot. Fucking 
dumbass old man, pedophile. Anyways, cheers, Gomer. Thank you for sending me this fucking Trump shit. It was pretty cool. Cheers. I'm going to hit it for you guys. That's for you motherfuckers, because you know what it is when we do what it is that we do here on this channel and shit. Uh, but let's get started with the fucking comments, because like I said, I think we went a little viral with one of those videos. And by viral, I just mean the video got more than the usual 10 views that we get. You know, because nobody watches this fucking channel. Anyways, let's start with the comments. Uh, Culture War Bandit, this is canceled for life. He says, oh, uh, before I read his comment, let me explain, because last week, I don't know, my internet was fucking up, and the avatars stay stuck on the screen as I scrolled, or whatever, and so it had Doug Funny's avatar on it, and I thought it was him. I thought they were making fake accounts and shit, getting us more views and clicks, which I encourage everyone to make four fake accounts and subscribe to us, uh, just to get us up there. Anyways, uh, no, he, he replies, and he says, hey, I'm Culture War Bandit 99. YouTube is effing up. I only have this account, son of man. Cheers, bro. YouTube is bugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doug and Funny actually replied to him. But he replied later, so uh it's kind of a little bit of the same. So I'm just gonna read the other comment that you left, Doug and Funny, later. Uh I fucked up because I because I, I'm all thinking about last week and this week, and I forgot to play Culture War Bandits uh Cancel for Lives intro. So let me play this guy, this racist motherfucker's intro for for him. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and, and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. Oh, yeah, that was for you, Culture War Bandit. You cancel for life, you dick. All right, let's go to the next comment. Oh, yeah, cheers. You see, I'm a little off this today. I gotta start drinking some more. Maybe I'll, I'll get back in the zone once I'm drunk. All right. Oh, yeah, it's none other than Missinix. Mick Mixinix. Mind. Cheers. <laughs> It's been a while since this guy left a comment and shit. He left it on the Blade Joins the Deadpool video, which is, by the way, that's the one that, uh, that went viral. Everybody wanted to see this fucking video and shit. Uh, this, uh, this clickbait and making the, the thumbnails lie and the title is working, you guys. Anyways, he says, uh, cameos can be cool. Cameos are gonna be the best part of this fucking movie. I promise you this movie's littered with everything We actually wanted the Doctor Strange movie to be like But Doctor Extra Strange movie only literally gave us the Illuminati as cameos and for a little bit and then that's it There was no multiverse of madness It was just Doctor Strange goes to one fucking universe and meets five different people. That's it. Fuck you That movie fucking Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness should have been this should have been just filled with crazy versions of other people. Just the nonsense. But no, they, they, they dropped the ball so bad with that shit. Oh, well. Milsonix mine. Yes, cameos are going to be amazing. And this movie's going to make a lot of money. That's all I'm going to say. Cheers, motherfucker. All right. Oh, minus color. So this guy's a fucking Aryan guy because he's just like white. When there's no color, it's only white supremacy. Um, let's hope it's not, but that's just what it sounds to me. Um, hit on the Tory spe spelling. Where's diapers? It says the the host looks worse. Well, yeah, of course I look worse. I'm not a privileged, entitled, multi-millionaire who my daddy was fucking born rich and shit. So I can't afford lip fillers. Uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, liposuction. 
and fucking injections, collagen injections, fucking facial reconstructions. I can't afford none of that shit. If not, I'd be looking better in Tori Spelling and shit. Of course I look worse. We all look worse than her because none of us have the money she has. God damn it. Imagine if I had the money, I'd be looking like Jeffree Star right now. Woke as fuck. Woker than this, motherfuckers. One of these days, I swear to God, when we get some money, when we win the lottery and shit. All right, we're in a professional studio, a, a, a white guy, white, all white staff, sober, Mormon, white staff, running everything for me when I drink and smoke and yell at them, obscenities and shit. Yeah, 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 that's the way it's going to be around here. Minus color. Maybe you should apply when we have money. I would hire your ass if you're white enough. All right. Cheers, minus color. Thank you for commenting. I gotta ring the DJ horn for you. All right, all right. Let's move on. It's getting too crazy here. Oh, Rocco, fuck my life, the Satanist. Let me go ahead and hit it for this guy. And I actually have all these numbers here. Uh, uh, cause I, 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 I fucking went ahead and put all these. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Rocco. Cheers, Rocco. And Rocco's on the blade. He says, damn, Wesley Snipes looks horrible. I hope he's okay. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Um, you know, I was thinking the same thing too. Because, like, when we first... There was a video that Chadwick Boseman posted after he filmed, um... Or when he was... A, a little bit after he filmed that 21 Bridges, which was sort of almost his last movie. He filmed 21 Bridges, and then the last movie he filmed was Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. A little bit after, he posted some social media shit. And he looked pretty fucking skinny and bony. His face, I mean... And everybody's making fun of him, and this guy's not eating right, and all this ass, and he thinks he's T'Challa, and all this shit, and he's losing weight. Um, fucking, and then, and then he died. So that's scary. Oh no, Wesley Snipes, you know, he, in that picture, I should, and that's a real picture, I know, fucking, uh, we, we alter and doc doctrine a lot of images here. Uh, but that was a real picture that I got from the internet, some kind of, sh uh, uh thing that he went to celebrity thing he went to a few months ago so that was recently this year that's the way the motherfucker looks um it couldn't have been more than a few months so it's kind of scary that he looks like that fucking kevin feige fucked up he's 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 getting all these old dying stars to come back and make him some money when he should have done it fucking five six years ago you idiot you're taking too long this covid shit fucked everything up dumbass ah uh, anyways Cheers, Rocco. I'm going to smoke for you, motherfucker. Pekka Rain was the... the Oh, oh yeah, because I was asking about the pop the pops earlier. Uh, Gomer finally responded. Pekka Rain was a goalie for the Nashville Predators and one of my all-time all favorite athletes. Uh, I think that's hockey, because I don't know what the fuck any of that is. Cheers, Gomer. Unless you're talking to me about wrestling or real sport. I think I know nothing about it, nothing else. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. Cheers. All right, all right. Let's let's move on. Oh, another new person on the Wesley Snipes video. Like I said, we got over 400 views. Oh yeah, we're moving on up, fellas. He says Brooklyn Brooklyn Zoo 7398. Uh, they because we don't know what they identify as. Just the letter B. Um, you look like a clown. Hard to pay attention to what you say when you look, when you like a clown. Well, I mean, if you fucking are trying to pay attention because you, for whatever reason, uh, you didn't read the intro, then that's your fault, you dumbass. And your name's racist. Who the fuck puts a zoo in Brooklyn? It's the most racist thing in the world. It's like me going to fucking the suburbs and making a KKK club in the middle of it. And shit. You dumbass. Uh, but cheers. Thank you for commenting, Brooklyn Zoo. You got us a lot of views on this fucking video and shit. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next comment. 
Oh, also in the Wesley Snipes cameo in Deadpool. Somebody named Ob Obscure Obscura Pit. Obscura Pit. Obscure a a Pit. Because there's two A's. Obscure a Pit. I guess that's what he means. OBS Corp Car Pit. Corpit. I don't know. These names are dumb. He says, Wow, what a weird dumb channel. Yeah, well, you're the dumbass who clicked on it. Cheers! <laughs> and you got us a view too, so thank you for that. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to say your name for fuck's sake. That's gonna bother me all night. I'm not gonna lie. It's got some stupid little coin or some Canadian coin. Is that Canadian coin? Some foreign fucking monetization right there on his shit. Goddamn foreigner. I'm still a curious to you, you dick. Cheers. Alright, alright, let's move on. We respect foreigners around here. But when you motherfuckers come over here and start talking shit about America, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, anyways. On the Deadpool cameo video, Kyle Carraway, 8662. He says, what the fuck is on your face, dude? Oh, this guy doesn't know what I'm wearing. This guy must be one of these fucking, uh, one of these non-binaries that was raised by two homosexuals. It's okay. Let me explain it to you. If your parents ever let you go outside, you're going to run out. You're going to run into a different uh, gender, even though your parents probably told you there is no such thing as a gender. But they're going to be a different gender with long hair and big boobs and no, they don't have penises. Um, and they pee sitting down. Um, some of them who, who, who enjoy, I don't know why, they want to they wanna wear makeup is what it's called. Um, and you're also going to run into some men that like to wear makeup. It's not just women. And some non-binaries just like yourself, they might wear makeup. You don't never know. You need to get out more, motherfucker. This specifically is called cover girl and shit. All right, I also do my nails and shit in case you don't know and shit. Uh, I've been starting. I, I've, I've been starting trends everywhere I fucking go. All right, because I've been going a lot to the wing stop and shit. And now all the motherfuckers there are are getting green, green because they see me. Hey, sir, those are cool. And I'm like, you're goddamn right, they're cool. I'm gonna go fuck five bitches with these on. And now they're all painting their tail, their nails and shit. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm starting trends and shit. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 fucking uh, it's cover girl, all right. Pretty expensive too, but it's good because you know what? I used to drink beer and shit, and that that cheap shit I used to wear was smudge and come off. And then every I would have to take a break every fifteen minutes to go put on some more makeup because it would smudge off of the beer and the smoking and shit <clears throat> melting under all these hallucinogen and fucking LED lights that I have here for the pod broadcast. But luckily with Cover Girl, it stays on. Oh yeah, tears Cover Girl. <laughs> Hey, cheers to you too, Kyle Caraway. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, Rocco, fuck my life again. He says, Holy fuck, son. This video's going viral. Plus, all the woke simps are showing up to comment. LOL, cheers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm telling you. A lot of weird comments we're getting. <laughs> what is he? What, 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 what is he wearing? Lipstick? What, 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 why is he talking like that? Look at you idiots! If you just pause, rewind the video to the beginning and pause it, and be intelligent for one second and read the warning! You might understand what's happening around here, you dumbasses. Goddamn children, don't understand. Anyway, cheers Rocco! Thank you for being one of the smart ones, motherfucker. Beer is good for the soul. Um, Amber and Y9QU. I don't know what that says. On the Kenan Thompson's Dan Schneider connection. It says, try watching a better schedule for Nickelodeon's main block by Evan Rosman. I got a notification for this ass. Um, and I fucking... I, I, I copied and pasted because I, I was like, 
holy shit, there's a video out there? Because, you know, I talk about Keaton Thompson and then the, the, the way he's uh, connected with Dan Snyder and the molestations and shit. Um, and so I was like, this guy, they, there's a video out there. This Evan Ro Rosman is fucking exposing Keenan Thompson. So I fucking copy and paste it and I find it. You know, the, the channel by Evan Rosman. And I find this specific video this fucking Amber is talking about from New York. And I click on it. <sighs> and I think I wasted 10 minutes of my fucking life. I mean, I, I, and it's my fault. I was high and drunk as fuck. And so I'm there listening to the very end, waiting for the punchline. This motherfucker goes on. And I don't even know if this is a recent video. Is because I, mean, I don't know if Nickelodeon still exists if they still do cartoon. But this guy is saying this is the current cartoon block that they have from Monday to Friday, and he lists the cartoons and the times they come out. And then he's getting mad because SpongeBob has more than an hour than everyone else, and he's complaining and saying that they should have these shows instead of SpongeBob and all this. And I was just like, "Fuck you, Emperor." You made me click on this and waste 10 minutes of my life. And even worse, I gave Evan Rosman another view on that piece of shit, boring ass video that he actually has more subscribers and more views than this goddamn channel. <sighs> Amber, you sly motherfucker. You got me. I'm gonna cheers to you, you bitch. <laughs> I gotta start being more uh, tricky, like the way this person is. You know, you go to another channel, like I'll go to heavy, uh, I should go to like new rock stars or fucking, or even uh, Kevin Smith and on the comments, try watching this video by Son of Man or the underground broadcast. And then we'll get more clicks like that. That's what I need to do with them motherfuckers being smart. He fucking annoyed the shit out of me for 10 minutes. I was high and I was like, is, it, is there a joke at the end of this? After 10 minutes, I was like, fuck you. I can't believe I watched this ass. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fuck you, Amber. We're moving on. Spent a lot of time. I was just really mad because I was high. I was here one, uh, one of the like Tuesday night. I don't even remember. I was all high. And I'm like, oh, look, somebody sent me a comment. Let me see what the fuck they're talking about. God damn you. Let me move on. On the Kenan Thompson, Dan Snyder's J. Hart W. He says, ha 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 Shit is funny though. Um, I don't have no beef. I love Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell. They're fucking great. I love Keenan and Kel, and I love them in all that. And I think Keenan Thompson is probably the one of the the last funny people that's on the cast of Saturday Night Live. There's a everyone sucks. There's so many people that suck. I mean, he's there's probably like three or four motherfuckers that are they're carrying the whole show, and he's one of them because he's funny as fuck. Um, that shit about that they did the cold open where where he was talking about that he supports uh, all the he says like I support all the protests at the colleges and shit as long as my daughter's not involved and he's like you have any idea how much college costs and this and that and he's like I was like all laughing and shit but I don't like Saturday Night Live I don't got no beef with him I just think it's funny how Dan Schneider was around when this motherfucker was a Nickelodeon he says that Snyder's a good guy, never molested him or nothing like that. Never showed him any porn, pull out his dick, nothing like that. Never made him walk on eggshells, step on dog shit, nothing like that. Recorded with his feet, nothing like that. Get Keenan Thompson's rich and famous. All these other kids got the thumb in the ass. And they're not rich and famous. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, cheers, Jay Hartthrall. Thank you for commenting. Give me the DJ horn, son of a bitch. I think I've seen you uh, comment before. Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Oh, Gomer Kyle. I'm playing your intro again, Gomer Kyle, you son of a bitch. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Kyle. Private Pile, I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Y'all see? It's doing it again. I have to refresh it. Because it changed your avatar, Gomer, to that other guy's. Uh, it's so fucking weird. I don't know if it's YouTube or what's going on. But here, now your avatar is back. 
It was another guy's avatar. It's like if I scroll up or down, the avatars get stuck or something. Anyways, Gomer says on the Richard versus Polly Shore video, Polly Shore is making a what? Did you say bio dick? Uh, this comes from the idiot who made bio dome. Ha ha ha, cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. I haven't figured out what to do with that. Sorry, Gomer. Stop doing that shit. <laughs> Anyways. Um I I ain't gonna lie, I have all the Polly Shorts movies. I have Biodome, I have Son in Law, I have uh Son in Law, I have fucking uh, uh what's it called? A uh, jury duty. I have in the army now. I have um Encino Man. Oh yeah. I got a lot of Polly Shore movies. I fucking love that shit back in the day. He was legit, motherfucker. You know? He like the first one who was doing the woke shit and got a lot of pussy for it too. You know, people call it people call him a faggy fag all the time, but the motherfucker get more pussy than the motherfuckers that were calling him a fag. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, but he's a loser nowadays because he's over here begging for attention and shit, begging Richard Simmons for approval. Fuck you, Polly Shore. You're embarrassing yourself. Fucking shit. Anyways, cheers, Gomer Kyle. Thank you for the comment. Uh, oh, Anthony Timmons, this hog motherfucker on, on the Richard Simmons versus Polly Shore. He says, sounds like a cat fight. Oh, yeah, but your pussy's fighting and shit. That's what I say. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this ass turns out. Polly Shore is, I mean, when you first go and ask for approval from the person you're going to make a biopic from, and he says no, why would you even continue on your fucking, you know, your shit? If, the, if you were going to do it, then just do it without even asking him for permission, you dumbass. You're going to go over there and he's going to tell you no, and then you're still going to do it. Then you look like a dick. That's all I'm going to say. And you look like a pussy now begging and asking for forgiveness. Fuck you. Anyways. Cheers, Timmons. Thank you for your comment and shit, and I'm going to smoke to you. Oh, it's Doug on Funny. Let me hit it for this guy. It's been a while, I think. Woke as fuck. Doug on Funny uh, on the podcast video. Broadcast. Sorry. Uh, it's only been 10 weeks into it. 12 weeks. And I drink a lot and smoke. Give me a break. On the broadcast video, he says, I finally got around to watching this. What the fuck? I'm not canceled. Uh, oh, he means canceled for life because that thing was glitching last week like it just did a while ago. He says, your internet is slow or something. It sounds like you have to upgrade from this cricket wireless shit you got, son. And fuck you. Anyways, great show as always. Cheers. Hashtag. You know what? I'm thinking maybe it is the fucking internet. Uh, God damn it. They don't have Google Fiber over here. And even if they did, I couldn't afford that shit. Not in this Joe Biden economy. Fuck you. Uh, so yeah, sorry, man. The way it is, you know, not until we win the lottery. We're going to fucking upgrade to the max. I said, we're going to have a real studio. We're going to all white Mormon sober uh, staff taking shit from me all day. Bitch, you're doing it wrong. You make me look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Anyways, but not not now. These, these are the these are we're paying our dues right now, Doug I'm funny, son of a bitch. Cheers. Thank you for commenting. Everybody's gotta pay your dues. Everybody's Holy shit, motherfuckers, I just forgot. I left the beer in the fridge. Shit. Fuck. Uh they're a little frozen. Whoa. All right, I just broke the ice on that. Joku, you're supposed to remind me. <laughs> I froze the beers. Hey, it's been a few weeks since the beers got frozen like that. I'm trying to break it now. 
because uh, in a little bit I'm gonna need a, like, I got about this much left. So let me, let me I'm gonna chug this and open a new beer and I, a frozen beer for you, dog. Unfunny, but it is chugging the last chairs. Thank you for commenting. That right there. Get it a new one. I'm trying to clear all this ice off of it. It's all wet. Shit. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Cheers, you all. Happy Friday. I'm glad you're all are, are safe and sound at home. Hope you're doing what I'm doing tonight. Cheers. Waited all week for this. Ah. Oh. All right. Uh, Gomer. On the oh god damn it, it did it again. Gomer on the Polly Shore video. If I ever get to it. Here he is. Uh he says, watching your video again, this reminds me of something my dad would have said. Oh, what I said about both of them are pussies. Richard Simmons, you're a dumbass for using Twitter and faking your own death, scaring everybody, and then fucking Polly Shore is pathetic for fucking begging Richard Simmons for approval. Dumbass. Uh he's I mean, anyways, continue. Sorry. Got on, got on the subject. Gomer says, Polly Shore looks like he was hashtag shit right out of Richard's hashtag ass. <laughs> His father for sure. LOL. Cheers. I think I said something like, Polly Shore is the only motherfucker who has aged so fucking bad that he actually looks like Richard Simmons and resembles him. Uh, so he's the only one that could play him, you know? In real reality, I think uh, Polly Shore's got a point. But anyways, Gomer continues and says, By the way, my dad liked Polly because he loved the movie Son-in-Law. And I'm in, in, in the army now. Hashtag. Live. Like I said, I, I have all those movies. I have all those Polly Shore movies. I ain't gonna lie. I have them all. And my favorite one is Jury Duty. To be honest with you. Well, no, I... I take that back. My favorite, and it's everybody's favorite, is Encino Man. Encino Man's always at the top of everybody's list, you know, because it's it's really not a Polly Shore movie. Polly Shore is more like a secondary character. It's a, it's a fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, George of the Jungle, Fat Whale motherfucker. Uh, Brian, Brandon Frazier. It's his movie. Uh, star uh, Co-starring, uh, what's his name? Sam Will. Sam Will uh, from fucking Lord of the Rings. Austin, Aston... Fucking ah, Austin something. I forget who's in the Goonies and shit. Him and and Polly Shore were the side characters, and this other uh, fine little chick that was in it too. I like Encino Man. Encino Man was such a good fucking nightest movie, bro. It had everything in it. It was fucking badass. I think that was Brendan Fraser at his best because he had to pretend to be a fucking caveman and somehow get the audience to fucking love him. And you did for everything he did. It was badass. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, then Jury Duty is the, the one that I like the next. I think Biodome's the least favorite. Um, it's because, you know, the Baldwin guy. God damn it, it was going to fuck it up. I think Baldwin was also in the army now. Son-in-law was good and he had that hot chick um, that was in that fucking Sin City. I forget what that lady's name is. That lady's kind of kind of cute. Uh, Son-in-law. Tia Carrera was in that fucking uh, Jury Duty movie. And Stanley 2G. Fucking badass. Anyways, Polly Shore was a shit back in the day. He fucked up somewhere in life. Cheers, Gomer. He did go. He was in the Goofy movie. I love the Goofy movie. It was bad, 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 badass. He's the Cheddar Weezer. You're right. You're right. Carla Guino. Guingo. Guingo. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. I wasn't good at grammar. Some fucking Italian name and shit. Uh, yeah, that chick is cute. All right, let's move on. Oh, a new guy on the Keenan Thompson's D Dan Schneider connection. M. B. B. White. And actually, I went to, because I didn't know what M. B. B. Wiped meant. And I went to his channel just to see his name. And I think it means my, my butt's been wiped. <laughs> his channel's called My Butt's Been Wiped. <laughs> Cheers, this motherfucker! I can't believe you got away with naming your YouTube channel that. 
but uh <laughs> because the the, <laughs> the keenan thompson video starts with the ending of the last segment and the last segment was the <laughs> the 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 uh uh, Winona Judd's daughter was arrested for prostitution. It was like the ending of it. And this guy says, I would do the Judd chick. <laughs> Cheers, motherfucker! <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, bro. Uh, I actually started laughing when I when I like, got a notification on my phone for that one. I didn't, I was like, I don't remember doing the Judd video. Like, I didn't do a short video. And then I remembered, no, nah, this one starts with that shit. Cause it's the ending of it <laughs> as a transition to the next subject <laughs> that's badass bro uh cheers hey what's he got a picture is that him with joe biden this small fucker <laughs> taking selfies with joe biden or something. i don't know who that is i honestly don't i, I don't remember it's been a, 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 a while when I when I saw his, and I think I only looked at the top. I wanted to see the, what that name was. Shit, my butt's been wiped. That's a badass name. <laughs> Cheers. I would hope everyone's butt's been wiped. Mine certainly has. It's been wiped and licked clean. All right, don't worry about it, you motherfuckers. Um. Oh, let me make sure this is the last comment. Refreshing right here. Oh, it is. It is the last comment. And it's none other than Houston, Texas. Oh, very own Jose Trevino. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ok? Oh, yeah. Tienes envidia, puto. <laughs> Cheers, Joe Trevino. We love you. The raunchiest best intro out of all you motherfuckers. You fucking woke packers, motherfuckers. Let me hit it for you, motherfuckers. Alright, alright. This guy says, Another thing, damn. I think YouTube took my rant slash comment down. I actually fucking uh, commented to him, and I, I it was a because I I went and I was like he he says he his thing got deleted, and so I went to our our, our shit and it, I even looked where it said um uh, uh approve or or waiting for held for uh approval or you know when somebody fucks up and they ask you for permission do you want this comment to show I went there and there's nothing, so they didn't give me the option. To approve or disapprove whatever fucking profanities you wrote they they just deleted it because i can't i don't even see it so yeah youtube uh apparently deletes y'all's comments without even letting me know what you wrote apparently whatever racist misogynist pedophiliac shit you wrote jose trevino got you deleted you dumbass you better quit it with that ass. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, uh, let me continue with his comment. <laughs> he goes, anyways, that dark guy is probably in the same camp with Alec Baldwin and his Zionist ways. I bet him, Zers, is all about exclusivity. Um, the dark guy, that's the fucking guy from Canada with the white face. And then he puts the fucking, uh... The maple leaf in blue. <laughs> oh my god, a Jewish motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to go search for like the dark guy. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> Jose Trevino is on top of the pop culture. I'm telling you. If we ever get legit, we win the lottery. This channel goes legit. I'm gonna have all you guys. Fucking Jose Trevino is gonna be the pop culture guy because he, he's more on top of it than me. <laughs> this son of a bitch. He even knew about the. What did he say last time? The dabble verse. I was like, what is he talking about? It took me like. Like, I watched it all night, a bunch of YouTube videos to know what the fuck this guy was talking about. <laughs> this guy's on it. Cheers, Jose Trevino, you fucking asshole. We love you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, sorry about that. I keep pressing number ones here. My fault. Anyways, that's it for the comments. Don't forget, these are the social medias for Twitter. It's at Sonoman665. For Instagram, it's at the underground broadcast. You got to put the underscore between the words. And on TikTok, don't even bother subscribing to that shit because they're, they're going to fucking delete it. We're not even uploading videos anymore because they ban me all the time or they mute me. Fuck you, TikTok. You communist sons of bitches. Joe Biden loving motherfuckers. Uh, so yeah, sooner or later, that's not even going to be allowed in the United States. You know, I don't understand why. Joe Biden's all about their policies. You'd think he would love TikTok, but he hates it. Uh, so it doesn't matter. But if you send me anything to the Twitter or the under or the fucking Instagram, I'll post it here in the beginning before I read the comments like I just did earlier for Joku and Gomer Kyle. You know what it is. So cheers to you guys. Thank you for fucking commenting. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, cheers. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.